Hi guys, this is Jamie and Lola Tallulah, Poet Spice, and we are here for the installment of the Cottage Cuts Collab. So, we are bringing you products made with the Cottage Cuts brand stamps and dies, and um, you can head over to Scrapping Cottage. They have all cottage cuts dies this is not a sponsored video we are just people who love or have cottage cuts um dies and stamps and we want to use them and make cute projects <laughs> so there you go um you may want to make sure that you are liking that you are subscribed that you leave comments because some people may be giving away um a giveaway you never know so you want to make sure that you're commenting on all videos make sure that you're a visible subscriber so that people can see you and you may be able to be eligible for prizes if people are deciding to hand those out okay so we're gonna get started with the first one I love cottage cuts they're so cute so let me go with what I used this is not a cut cottage cut die I used a spellbinder die I was looking for my honeycomb die and I was like I can find it so I thought oh this is close enough I like the lattice work so we did this one I pulled out my rainy day stencil from uh, LDRS creative I am NOT a stencil person um, I have stencils but I don't really do a lot of stenciling but I love this rainy day stencil and so I have been using it like crazy and then I have this diamond press set where it gives you, it'll cut out a frame, and then you have layers or insets so that you can cut words into it and create a card front. So I use this outside piece here, and then I use this hello one. Now for the cottage cuts, ah! You would have seen this in my haul video, as well as the video I did on all my cottage cuts stamp or stamps and dies so I just love her and I was so excited because she was on sale so I was able to get all the bear stamps I wanted and it's awesome the other thing is look what it has it has a die so you know I'm like yes 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 so <laughs> I used that one so let's go ahead and start with this one. I used card bases and then just paper from my stash. And then this paper here is actually a Crafter's Companion luxury card stock in glitter. So I used this one. You can see the diamond press background. So the one piece will cut out this whole solid piece. And then you add the other one and it'll give you this frame that says, hello. Isn't that cute? It's so flipping cute. And then I had some little gems sitting on my desk. I used those flowers <clears throat> from the Spellbinders. And then there's my little bear. She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. There we go. Look at her. She's so cute with a little bumblebee outfit. And I used my, hmm, I think I used my Ohuhu markers on this one. She's so cute. And then the card base is from a Crafter's Companion subscription box. And then there's the inside. So, I love it. It's so cute. She's so cute. Her little chunky body. Love it. <laughs> so then, I made another card. And this is one of the 5 by 7 cards from a Crafter's Companion subscription box. It's so funny because I don't even use the boxes for, like, what they're supposed to be used for. They were all mixed together. I just be like, oh, okay, we're going to use this envelope, this thing here. <laughs> so now... Here's the five by seven. And so I used the whole sprig and then additional flowers over the top. You can see where I ink blended the uh, sky with that stencil and then also the grass at the bottom. Oh, I did forget. I pulled out this with love from a tonic kit. And then there's that background and the rest down here and she's so pretty she's so pretty i love her she's such a cutie so then you can see her and i did her just a little bit different she's got a little bit of different coloring and her wings are a little bit different and then here's something else i did these flowers so you know when you have die cuts um, most companies give you this white border around and pretty much they do that so you don't jack up the, the image because it's really hard to line them up sometimes. 
but down here it looked weird to have this white edge around these flowers from that stamp set this is actually from a different cottage cut stamp set the farm one so you know how they have the white edge but when I put it down here in the grass I didn't like that so here's a tip you can go back and ink over the white part now if you have really light colors you know it depends on the color you're using but this worked well so for the flowers down here I went over it with the green so that I wouldn't have that stark white line. And then here is something else you could do. So this one was sticking above the grass and it would look weird to be white down here, and white up here with a blue and green. So I just did the same thing. I Down here, I covered it up with green ink and then I went over it up here with blue so that it actually looks like it's in the sky instead of just like this white piece. So those are my two projects for you this week. I hope that you enjoy them and that you think they're cute. Leave a comment below, like, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, yeah, go check out the other ladies who are participating. The links are down below, and I look forward to seeing you again. You guys stay safe out there.